Hi, and welcome or welcome back to the Big Knit Energy YouTube channel. My name's Sammy, and this is episode 50 of my knitting and spinning podcast. Um, I didn't have a chance to film this like over the weekend like I normally would. So it is currently after work. It's dark. I'm in my comfy clothes. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I have some gift knitting to show you guys um and some acquisitions and i already forgot everything i've said so far so let's just get started um first off i'll start with finished objects um and i don't honestly don't remember if this was a finished object last time i showed it but this is um, a finished Musselberg with my own hand dyed yarn. And this is for one of my nieces for Christmas, which I'm like, today's Monday, exactly a week before Christmas. And I need to get this mailed off to Washington State. And then I made another one for my younger niece. And this one is in... Mm, I don't remember where I put the label, but it's Ba La Hoya, and this was like a seasonal color. I forget the name, but I don't think it's available right now anyways. And yeah, there's two finished Musselbergs, Muscle Bros, and they both need to get mailed to Washington, so I need to hurry up. I have one more, um, and I guess I'll show you that now since I don't have any other finished objects. So here is the third one. This is for my nephew. Um, and I think I'm only a couple of inches from doing the crown decreases. So I'm gonna try to work on that tonight as soon as I'm done finishing as much as possible because I would really, really like to get it mailed tomorrow, but I just don't know if that's gonna happen. And I have this in a bag from Crafted by the Fates. It's a cute, sparkly, like, wintry looking pine cone and tree. Some sort of pine tree. And it's got this really pretty lining. Um, and then the next projects I have to show you guys are all, like, Advent or 100 Days of Spindle Spinning projects. Yeah, I think that's all I got to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to start with my scrap of it. Um, like I honestly don't remember how far I was last time we were here. I think I had these two done. I think this was day one and this was day two. So you guys can watch the last ones or you can go to my Instagram and I have a highlight of every day and yeah, I'll just show you guys some more. Got that one. We got these one. But I really would, I mean, if I were you guys, I would just go look at my Instagram one. A lot of these are crafted by the Fates yarn. A lot of them are just her scraps, but like this one and then the last one are, are her yarn. So it was the very first day. This one is not her yarn, but it's very pretty. But I, she's been telling me, but I honestly can't remember what they all are. This one's Mesa Skeins. This one is Crafted by the Fates. Oops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to sneeze. Phew. Ow. This one is Fiona K Knits, I think. So those are all my crochet squares and I'm just going to keep making these until I'm through all the days and then uh, maybe before I'm done with all the days I'll use the leftovers that the squares didn't use up because the squares only use like three to four grams and make a just like crochet granny triangle shawl. This is today's color. I haven't crocheted it yet because I'm trying to focus on the hat, even though I don't want to. Um, 
and then we have my freckled whimsy stripy socks and I also haven't done day 18 of these because again focusing on the hat so here are my socks and I did a 10 stripe leg um a fish lips kiss heel and I'm just gonna knit the feet as long as I need it's gonna be more than 24 stripes um because I have a big feet but yes I really really am loving this yarn it's very thin um fingering weight but it's really soft and I like it so those are gonna be super nice I'm very much enjoying knitting a stripe on each sock a day it's like five rounds per stripe so like 10 rounds on the socks every day and I really like it and then last up is my 100 days of spindle spinning just have it in this basket here um and my spinning is not going quickly let me see I can show you guys this let me try to do the hand thing it's not going quickly but um I am enjoying it it's really good practice for me for support spindling um i do wish that my first time support spindling i had started with something that wasn't cotton um but that's okay i might uh, at some point give myself a break to spin something other than cotton but for now it's fine let's see what else um, sorry, I'm so tired, you guys. I think next is acquisitions. So, I will start with a biggie. Um, Spin Cycle did a metamorphic update. I think that's what this is called and I got three skeins this colorway is plum black and I really like it I think it's gorgeous um I think it's a DK weight yeah it says DK weight uh, but I really really like this yarn specifically because it's made from all the recycled bits and it's spun in Washington right near where I'm from. I'm just a big, big fan. So also the label for the metamorphic is really cute. It has little crystals on it. Um, but I thought this yarn would look really nice with the chaotic fibers um, color that I'm spinning for my pressed flowers cardigan. So I wanted this to be the main color. Um, and I'm, once I got them and was able to like hold it next to it, I'm even happier than I thought I would be with the color pairing. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So very excited for that. I haven't been getting to spit on that at all because I've been busy gift knitting. So that sucks, but my next acquisition is from Chromatic Yarns, um, and this is the Christmas Eve cast on sock set. It's called Oh Christmas Drag, and this is on the sturdy sock base, which is 75% Superwash BFL and 25% nylon. Um, it came with these two little really cute progress keepers. One's a Christmas light and one's a dragon, and... Um, you guys can't see the speckles that good on that side. Let me show you the other side. And one of the inspo picks was this really cute little like baby green dragon with like Christmas lights on it. It was very adorable. And I'm very excited to cast on some socks after I finish my freckled whimsy socks. So mm -mm 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 -mm. next acquisition just came in today. And it is 
I forget what the set was called. It is the Lavender Fields Four Skein Kit from Mace of Skeins, and this was is on the Spade DK, which is 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. This color over here is called Lavender Fields. This color is Lavender Haze. This one is Honey Lavender, and this one is Lavender Leaves. And um, I was obsessed with this kit when she first had it out, but I just didn't buy it because um, it was a Juju Knits exclusive. And um, I don't know, it was just having to go with that extra step of like calling Juju Knits to order it was enough to deter me when I was already trying not to buy yarn, but this time she had extra and I think two extras and she listed them on her website, maceofskeins.com for like a discounted price and I, I just had to get it. Sorry for the sound, but I really, really, really love this type of colors. So I'm very happy and I'm just thinking what a cute Douglas Cardi it would make. But I don't know if I will do that. I don't know if I'll keep this. But I thought it was a good deal and I love the colors so I wanted to see it in person. Put it down so it's loud. <laughs> okay, next acquisition is Tough Bullens. Um... Whoa, I just dropped the cards. But first, I got one of their um, sock soaps because I've only ever used like eucalyn and like liquid sock soaps or liquid wool soaps, I guess, for blocking. And I really wanted to try this because um, I want to actually wash the socks that I, I knit. And I feel like the other ones are more like conditioning your fiber for when you're blocking, but I wanted something to wash the socks with. So I'm very excited about this. It's in the like winter scent, frosted garland. And then I also got two hand bombs. Um, one is in the scent sugar skull and one is in the scent lavender. Um, I have the cider donut one and I use it all the time. I really hate the feeling of lotion on my palms, so I just like never put lotion on, but I wash my hands a lot at work. Um, and so having the ability to just put it on like a chapstick is really, really nice. Um, next acquisition is a Christmas present from my dad. He was actually here uh, over the weekend and yeah, so we did, he gave me my gift, which is a blending board because I see people making all these smooth Rolex. I think they're actually called poonies when they're, they're prepped in that way. I think a Rolex is when you actually use like carters and it's more like, uh, more woolen prep, like overall. I think this is still woolen prep because you end up making it into a roll, but I think overall the fibers are all smoothed together the same way. So he got me this small blending board from Paradise Fibers, which is what I asked for. Um, and I made my first roll eggs and I shoved them in this bag so they don't look as nice as they used to. But this is from fiber from Green Goat Ranch. It was a carding kit. And this is the colorway for the carding kit, La Vie and Rose, or Rose, I don't know how to say it. But I will include a better picture of these because um, I kind of smooshed them all and they're not as cute anymore. But I took a picture before I shoved them in this bag. But there is one of my roll eggs. This is my first time making roll eggs and it was definitely a learning curve, but I really, really like the way they turned out. So. I wish I had time to spin those now, but I don't. Um, we still have to finish our hat and then finish up Advent stuff. Um. 
all right that's actually all i have so i'm glad this was a quick one because i am incredibly tired and it's going to take me like a day to get the video in the cloud so that i can download it onto my computer and then edit it and then the fall so that'll be tuesday and then wednesday tuesday wednesday i both have work and then thursday morning i am going to be driving over to arizona to visit my mom for christmas so i'm tired and i have no downtime That's it, <laughs> just complaints. Anyways, um, I will see you guys in a couple weeks. Merry Christmas.